again. Better be getting some exercise in, man. That's what it's all about. I, I am. For sure. Walking the track, talking about girls. We're not. Nah, we're not. We're talking about girls. <laughs> For us, it's just it's a little frustrating, I guess. It's inside. coming. Go, go, go. <laughs> Everything's waterproof. Woo! Go ahead. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> what? How you doing, man? Good, good. Awesome. Just doing some training. Are you guys shooting? Yeah. A little bit. Look at this, look at this. Look at Titan athlete, Rachel Daniels. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Lois Lenny. He's <laughs> here. It's so like playing weird. Krypton. It's like, we... <laughs> it's like we planned this. That's right. So, <laughs> here just trying to get my little basic training in. She's doing her advanced training, obviously. So big, big ups, big And my big shoulder's shout feeling out. good from my Titan therapies. Per yeah. usual. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. Not even for the video, really. Just didn't go one way. Not I lost what I was doing. Girls have to listen to. Man. Are you picture me or what? Yeah. I might call it in a picture. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> Don't step in the water. Oh, my butt feels instantly better. <laughs> oh my god, you want to smell funny? Because she's in those tight medical leggings. Look. Remember that, girl. Look. Well, obviously you didn't laugh, but I know you didn't get the joke. I smiled. No, you were like, what? Now you ruined the joke. Supposed to laugh. Oh, 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 oh. Like that. Oh my god, everybody, watch your tootsies and go with right Dust your feet off. She does not like being dirty. Enough of my time, I'm gonna need that back. Yeah, time after time with the I've been roll out of line like I don't read the signs. I'm so done with the lies. That's why I ain't got no time. Stepped up in the game like rock. Ball boy with the hook can't stop. Let it dread on What's up, brother? There he is. How you guys doing? Oh man, I can't wait. Skeleton secret wait, dinner party. Bro, we don't even care about you. Is, is a pretty girl in there? Oh, come on, you know, my wife is oh gorgeous. Oh my god. Breaking next, breaking next. How are you? 
What's up, bro? How you doing? Hey, Art. Hey, what's up, Yoki? Thank you so yeah. much for joining us. You guys look fucking stunning. Alright, so what we got in the box? What's in the box, right? What you got, Jay? Dom Perignon, Dom Perignon, Moet Nectar Imperial Rosé, Nectar Imperial Rosé, Nectar Imperial Rosé, <laughs> Avion, some pineapple juice, and some Simply Orange. You know, gotta so. have that, gotta do it. Let's do it, look at it. The Scale Factory, <laughs> full effect. We're about to go in here and have a good time. Yes, Thank you to our host. Yeah, Once feel. again, Jason Skelton, the oh, man, man, the myth, the legend. Hey. Oh, 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 hey, Chef Bim. Zach Ooh. Medical's in the How are you doing? Hi, how are you? Very nice to meet you. I don't want to show you. Thank you. Hi. 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 So this is, the, this is the area where like I kind of like uh, vibe out before I paint. Okay. This is like my area where like I have people, like my clients come over and just kick in. Time. Follow along. Okay. <laughs> ain't looking at the clock. Club. Stepped up in the game like rock. Right. Ball boy with the hook can't stop. Can't stop. Like the dread on my head stay locked. Look, always no island. Stay fly, no pilot. What's up, guys? John and Sharice here, and we are with our good friend and the most talented artist, or one of the most talented artists I know, Jason Skelton. And we're What's here up? at the Skell Factory. So we're here for this event, and Jason, why don't you tell us what this event is and what's going to go down? Yeah, first off, you are you are at the Scale Factory. That's what I titled it. Um, this is where I paint. This is where I lounge. This is where I bring my customers. Um, tonight is a, a five-course dinner by Chef Vivian. Um, DJ Anthony is going to be DJing throughout dinner. And then after dinner, I have two special performances that are going to be live music. Um, so it's... it's it's kind of like open mic, it's a dope ass vibe, and uh, you will see more, because I'm gonna record it, and we're gonna get it. Absolutely, absolutely. So we're, we're very excited, and we're honored to be invited to this private dinner and gathering. It's gonna be one heck of an experience, and we wanted to share it with all our viewers out there. So if you guys are seeing this, please enjoy it. Uh, we're really looking forward to this beautiful dinner that Chef Vivian And it's very, have. it's very exclusive. That's what I'm like, saying, very exclusive. We only invite like, the right term isn't the who's who's because that's yeah. I don't like that term but right. we only invite people in town that are doing things that are motivated that are uh, just kind of helping the community it's if you go in there and you see everyone in there you'll understand what I'm talking about because one guy owns a roofing company um, another guy owns uh, a electric company another guy owns you know Titan medical they're doing all you know the supplements and, and helping people feel better um, everyone in there is a business owner um, and they're doing the right things so that's why we're here so super exclusive you have to get an invite so you can't even pay for this it doesn't matter if you're rich or not yep. it's you on me poor. I pay for everything and, for this and Jason is our great host for the night so we're really looking forward to this experience. We're gonna show you guys some behind the scenes and these dinner pieces as soon as they come out. Yo, wait, but are we popping bottles later? So we are. We're gonna do some <laughs> uh, some social drinking here. Social. Uh, we, we, got we are popping bottles. I'm gonna say it. We are popping bottles. <laughs> uh, John is gonna get wild tonight. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna okay. get wild. We have a limo driver, wait, so we're I, okay. Yes, yes, yes. So we're yes. not we're not and driving. We're, we're the Titan limo is rocking. So we're, we're doing the right thing here. And you guys are gonna enjoy this experience. We're gonna give you this virtual experience because you guys can't get here, but you might might get an invite from Jason down the road. You never know. Yeah. Buy some art, you might get it. <laughs> so if you guys Boom, wanna no. check out <laughs> Jason Skeldon, what's your website? Uh, JasonSkeldon.com. Go there, check out the proofs, maybe order a custom painting. Best ever. I've got tons of them. And Everywhere. I'll tell you, I'm just gonna keep getting more. Everywhere. I've got so many I don't even know where to put up. He's yet. stacking them in okay? the room. But I'm gonna collect them because this guy is gonna be worth a lot of money later. I can bet you the house He's smart. Up. He's smart. He's so smart man. Check out JasonSkeldon.com, all his great art, and then check out all his behind the scenes. And we're gonna finish up after dinner and tell you how yummy it was and how great of an experience we Shout had. out to Chef Vivian behind us. Shout out to Chef Vivian. Vivian. So we'll see all these dishes, so stay tuned. Boom. Bye guys. Bye. All beef, no diet. Yeah. Real G, stay yeah. silent. Right. I'm all for the mission to pray for the tension because the yeah. best of us come with complacency issues and then the chosen and high cause replacing on picking the tissues. They're thinking and crying and laughing and ain't for the mission. I've been up like all night working on the crab cause the sucker don't ball right. Do we about to swing cause we ain't about to fall. I'm living on my knees cause I know it ain't all I Oh my God, never gonna stop. Think of him to go and change my lingo name to pops. Y'all a bunch of birds, I ain't even gotta fly. Looking for the beef, find the light up in the track. See it at the top, praise be the child. I ain't need a job, yeah. glory to God, yeah. Millie with the rock, uh. Jordan with the house, uh. catch me at the road, 10.30 on the dot, boy, uh.
Hey guys, John back with more Tight Medical Center tips for health and wellness that you guys can take advantage of. So today I want to talk about a major pillar of these tips and that's nutrition. So nutrition is essential. It's essential for your body physically, mentally, and for performance wise. Even if it was a race car, you want to put 93 octane in there, not regular 87 gas. Same thing with food sources. You want to get those nice premium good food sources so your body can perform, it can heal itself better, and it can work at optimal levels. That's what we're here for, right? Feeling the best you possibly can each and every day. And nutrition plays that strong role in this, okay? And knowing your nutrition, how many calories you're taking in, how many carbohydrates, how many proteins, how many fats are in your diet per day, per meal, now, I know it sounds real complicated, but it's really, really not. You can actually look online and Google and find a calculator with your body weight, your body fat percentage that will actually break down how many of these macros, proteins, carbohydrates, and fats that you need per meal per day. And this will ultimately set you up with a great plan of action, which you can go forth with. You know what you can eat every day, you know when you should eat every day, and you know how much you should eat every day. Now, a lot of people, they really just don't know about nutrition. They eat the most garbage stuff out there, and they probably feel like garbage, and their body reflects the exact same way. And if you're one of these people, you really do want change. You might just not know how to get that change. And that's where I really wanna help these people, because people, if they have that education and knowledge and information, then they're not ignorant. That means they're not uneducated about it. They know exactly what they can do and they can put it in play. And I think if people are educated about it, then they would be more confident for them to go out and to choose their meal plans, okay? And meal plans can be set up by you at home. They can be set up when you're at your job. So let me give you the examples of that. So if you're at home, you can pick a day of the week or two days out of the week where you really wanna do some food planning, right? meal prep is what we call it and that's just getting together what your meals are going to be for the week or for a couple days getting some tupperware setting you know your carbohydrates in there some of your fats and some of your proteins in one dish and your greens whatever it is and you're all set to go and you can set up like four to six of these tupperware dishes and be good to go for two or three days now you set yourself up for success because all you have to do is take that bad boy. If you go to work, throw in a microwave. Um, there's little heating pads you can get that will keep those meals warm. Now, if you forget or you say, I just don't have time, so what do I do now? Well, beautiful thing about technology is, is we have Uber and we have all these meal food delivery services. And the way that they work is, is you can pick pretty much anything you want from any of these different restaurants or whatever it may be. Now, the key to this is finding the most basic, bland things. Of course, you can order the most craziest, richest, uh, you know, spaghetti with all this marinara sauce and whatever it is, or whatever you like, you know, a, a cheeseburger, it's greasy or whatever. But you can also get grilled chicken breasts, right? Grilled chicken with maybe some white rice or some regular potatoes on the side um, that don't have a lot of salt on them or anything like that. And you guys can eat these at your job. They can get delivered right to you. It's hot, fresh, and ready to go. You know, you don't have to meal prep. You don't have to do anything. You just have to order. You know, some people, they're like, oh, I don't, you know, I, I really didn't know that. But this is something that you guys need to utilize in your resources. Because everybody has a cell phone, I think, a smartphone. Everybody utilizes it, especially right now. Um, and everybody knows about Uber Eats and all these different food services that deliver food to you guys. You guys can also go with a meal prep company. There's plenty of meal prep companies in the country that offer a wide variety of dishes for you guys if you guys really have a problem with food planning or even getting it delivered to you. You can have this delivered to your house and you guys can have meals for the whole week or a couple days, whatever it may be. So don't make the excuse that you cannot get your nutrition plan on point. There's no excuse for that. Like I said, you are what you eat. That old saying is so true. It rings so true. And once you start eating healthier, you're gonna feel healthier all the way around. Like I said, you're gonna look better because it's gonna help you, I guarantee it, with lean muscle mass, losing weight. Mentally, you should feel better because that good food source is gonna give you the nutrients you need for your body to work optimally. You know, these are different things that you need to think about. And that's really the first thing that I tell people to really get in check. When they come to me, I say, listen, get these two things in check, maybe three. And that's nutrition along with activity and proper sleep, right? But nutrition 
is, is far one of the biggest things I think that people need to focus in on these days and people really don't. Um, and people go for all kinds of marketing scams because they look at boxes of food they buy and it says organic on it, but you look on the back and the ingredients, you're like, oh my God. So it's really essential for you guys to know what you're intaking in your body. And that also includes, if you are buying it from a, a, a supermarket or whatever, to look at the ingredient label, right? To know what is exactly in that food that you're intaking because your body is going to absorb it and then try to break it down. So this is just one major pillar that I want to talk to you guys about and really, really cover in depth, and that's nutrition. So get your nutritional plan together, and I guarantee all these other things will align right along with your activity, you sleeping better, and then you'll start feeling better, looking better, and performing better. Like I said, guys, these are just some tips and tricks that I want to help you guys out with from Type Medical Center. I appreciate you guys tuning in and come back for our next segment when I'll talk about activity and sleep and how important those two things are as well. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So uh, we're in the month of October. And you know, with October comes our national holiday, as I call it, Halloween. <laughs> so uh, if John's you guys, favorite. Oh, definitely, I love Halloween. <laughs> Halloween's great, guys. So, you know, our topic, you know, should be around that, I think. So Halloween and having fun. So this one plays pretty personal pretty close to me and Sharice, right? Yeah. Because obviously it's one of my favorite holidays next to Christmas and uh, Thanksgiving because I love to eat. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I love Halloween and it's just awesome. And I think it can be good for couples and that's why I wanted to like bring this up because me and Sharice have a ball and always have had a good time during Halloween. Mm -hmm. Now this plays true in a couple different ways. One is a couple, two is a family, you know, so if you have kids and stuff like that, you get to share with their joy of getting to dress up and taking them trick or treat and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Or if it's just you as a couple, it's you guys kind of lowering inhibition a little bit, not being as serious and having fun, mm -hmm. right? And kind of dressing up or doing your own thing. So with me and Sharice, perfect example, uh, you know, we've been together for 12 years, going on 13. And at that point, what we've done is, is every year we've dressed up. Yeah. Multiple times sometimes. Yeah. Some some <laughs> years it would be two times, three times, three I think, times. at maximum of, of some of the years. You know, that would be for different things, like mm -hmm. Halloween parties, taking our son trick-or-treating. Um, so just different things, right? Mm -hmm. Or we had, you know, two. It just all depends. Now, Halloween, you know, the day that it falls really doesn't matter what you do, too. Right. Because this year, Halloween falls on a Saturday. Oh, boy. And daylight savings. That means we get an extra <laughs> hour of fun, right? <laughs> So, you know, I, we just want to bring up like some of the different things that we do um, that might help you guys. And this could help in a lot of different ways. So let's get into it. So me and Sharice dress up and we've changed outfits every year. Couples costume. We usually, yeah, we'll pick a costume that me and her both can wear. Now, not the exact same costume. There's usually a guy's and a girl's version. Right. Um, and if you don't know about costumes, you can literally go on to costumes. There's mm -hmm. a ton of stores out there online or even some in your local area. Um, and you usually find like girls and guys costumes that go together, whether it's superheroes or gag tricks or whatever it is. There's all different types of stuff. You guys can even make your own costumes or mm -hmm. make up what you're going to be. That's the beautiful thing about this. Um, creativity. It's, it's creativity. Yeah. You know, it's going back to think about when you were a kid um, and you were thinking about different things and being very creative. 
you know, as we get older, I think we get into that mindset, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that. And mm -hmm. it takes away some of the creativity and some of the freedom that we have. Mm -hmm. um, we get locked into this situation of who we need to be or what we need to do. And at that point, we really can't break out of that shell anymore. Right. right? Like you're, you're too old to have a good time dressing up or going trick-or-treating with your son who yeah. I don't think wants to trick-or-treat with us anymore. Um, he's at that age where he's like, I'm going with my friends. I'm like, no, yeah. <laughs> please, no. Um, but, you know, he's got to grow up someday, I suppose. Um, but, you know, every year we do the whole couple's costume. We've actually done quite a few. Oh, yeah. Um, but we've had fun with it, you know. The only, you know, the only catch-22 to this whole thing is when you do order, especially right now, oh, because, gosh. you know, of COVID and all these other wonderful Ooh. things. Nobody's letting you come into a Halloween store and or a costume store, which, which I don't even on. think that there is one. There's a couple, yeah, like spirits still out there. But the they're not going to let you there. put it on, right? So now you have to guess if you're going to be a small, yes. a large, yes. a medium, an extra small. You know, you get it. I, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I got my suit the other day, and, you know, I thought for sure I'm going to fit in it because, you know, I, I, would, I would guess it would be stretchy. But, you know, it wasn't <laughs> as stretchy as I thought it was going to be. Right. So, you know, the zipper didn't come up too far, and I'm just like, okay, this is not going to work out so great. Um, John, on the other hand, you know, he's got – uh, um, wow. let's I, let's not say a couple. We're gonna just call it a plethora. I got a barrage of different <laughs> um, costumes. Same cost, same kind of costume, same character per se. I don't want to let you guys know what it is yet. Yeah, we'll don't have, give away all the goodies. We'll, we'll show some maybe next week or something like that, so you guys can see what we dressed up as. Yeah. But at that point, uh, I had to just order these different ones because most of these costumes come from China. <laughs> all right. So at that point, like. They're a little bit smaller. I don't know if you've ever ordered anything like that. I'm sure people have, whether it's a girl ordering a dress or a guy ordering a shirt or whatever it is, and it comes from China. And their sizes are like two sizes small. Mm -hmm. And you really never know what you're going to get. Never know. You know? Never know. <laughs> it's like Forrest Gump right there. <laughs> you know? Um, so at that point, like, you know, we had to order a couple. And then Halloween, you know, the way that COVID has happened this mm -hmm. year. Um, shipping and everything coming from international has back all back orders. Back orders. I mean, it's it's been crazy. So <sighs> for us, usually it, it's never easy picking costumes. No, some, it has never been easy. Some years we're like, all right, but you know, usually we wait till the last minute. And that was a problem before, mm -hmm. like last you know two weeks before Halloween stuff like that. There's been a couple of years where we've actually planned in advance and actually worked out. Yeah, in our favor for sure. Uh, but you know, at this point, like it lets us have fun. Like we'll go out. Like it's it's going to be a Saturday this year, and Titan Medical Center usually these last couple of years sponsors different events on Halloween, mm -hmm. and or Halloween weekend the way they usually have it. But this one is falling on Saturday, so it's really cool because we're gonna you know get to you know Peter's gonna go trick or treating with his friends because he's 11 years old and he doesn't want to be around mom and dad no more. Whatever, which is fine. It's really cool. It's not fine. Um, so we're going to go out later on and we're going to have this event. We're going to be at this little, this costume party, which is going to be a pretty big one. Yeah, I'm excited. For so it. if you're in the Tampa area or you guys want to come down, Vampire's Ball, because yep. 2020 just sucked. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the catchphrase of it. So, But it's going to be really cool. It's going to be at the Cuban Club in Tampa. So if you guys want to come down there, see the Tight Medical Center crew. Yeah. We're all going to be dressed up. And you don't know who is going to be who. Because yeah, you might have, have to go try to find John. We're going to have awesome costumes. But look for the Titan Strong mask because I am going to be wearing one out oh, there. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, it's it's a whole different atmosphere out there too. I know because of COVID and stuff like that. But hey, listen, most of the people have masks anyway, right? Mm. They should be like face sure. coverings. Should be kind of like the same thing. I, I guess. You yeah. Know. But we're going to do the right thing. We'll be having them on, and um, at that point, you guys can come on and join us, and you guys can have fun together. So you guys can enjoy get in the character role. And this could happen even if you guys don't want to go out. You guys could dress up and do the character role maybe at home. <laughs> so or just it, leave on your costume and then do the character role. At yeah, home. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you guys can go out for a little bit. You know, yeah, there's plenty of different things. And I'm sure friends are gonna have costume parties and stuff like that. Now I'd hear to see see guidelines in your state. I don't want to get you guys in trouble wherever you're at. But if you're in the state of Florida, I think you're pretty much good to go. Um, and wherever you want to go and whatever you want to do, pretty much at that point, you know. So we're going to be out. We're going to be doing that. And we want you guys to enjoy Halloween the exact same way that we do. You know, I always like to give the example story, right? So we're going to go back to because I'll never forget this ever. And I'm, I'm, I wonder if he's looking at me and he knows what I'm going to say. But one year we decided to be 
um, Hulk and She-Hulk. Oh, my okay? gosh. Um, now, we did this actually, I believe he did it the following year, but we did not make the same mistake. No, it was a couple years later when I did this. <laughs> so, the first time, though. We went to, I think oh. it was like Walmart or Target or something, and we got this, you know, green paint. So we could put the green paint, and I mean, when we talk about the green paint is everywhere, everywhere, the face, arms, chest, yeah. everywhere, right? Yeah. Now, I, I remember this quite well. I was pregnant at the time too, <laughs> which was fun. This is not fun. Um, and so we get home, you know, after you know we're having a, you know a great time, you know, it was great, blah blah. So now we got to get this stuff off, right? <laughs> now this was interesting because it, it wouldn't come oh off. Oh my god! <laughs> and when it did come off, John at that time had a little bit longer uh, hey, hair. Hair, hair on my legs, <laughs> hair on my arms. And I literally was on my knees next Dude. to the bathtub. He was in the bathtub with the soap everywhere, and I'm taking this wash rag, and I'm literally this is me like. I mean, it was some serious scrubbing. I could. He's I, like, I didn't oh my god, off. this is terrible. <laughs> I don't like cleaning to begin with, much less to scrub off every piece of green. We got mo majority of majority it. Majority of it came It was off. a couple little spots. He looked like, you know, he might have had a small disease for a day or two with these little green spots. Trying to turn me into a leopard. <laughs> <laughs> but that was fun. I'll never yeah. forget it. But we still had a good time. Yeah. And, you know, we support each other on getting that green off. It was, de it was definitely good. <laughs> yeah. the, the next time I did Hulk and we did green paint, I, I found out a good paint that stayed on it. Did not was not hard to come off. It came off pretty easy. So. That was funny. Yeah, it was definitely fun. It was definitely good. It's, it's good times. And you share experiences like that. It was funny. Talking about bonding experiences, yeah. thing you guys can look back at. And we'll show you guys some pictures of us. You know, you'll oh, you see in here like of it. different photos of us. And I think the Hulk pictures are going to be in it, here too yeah, as well. It's in there. Or if you yeah. haven't seen it already. Um, at that point, you guys will get to see these different things and you know, the way we dress up. So hopefully you guys will get into the spirit. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about, getting into the spirit of things. Whether you have kids or don't have kids, do it for yourself. You know, bring yourself back to hopefully some good childhood memories or, mm -hmm. or just, you know, being not so super serious all the time. Because mm -hmm. it's good to be serious, right? But there's times to relax. Anti-stress and have a good time with your partner. <laughs> so you guys can find cool costumes. Do cosplay, go to a party, have fun with the family, whatever it is. But make sure you guys are having fun. And that's what it's all about. All right. So this is just another tip and trick from me and Sharice to you guys. We hope you guys have a happy Halloween. And we'll see you next Sunday on another Cupid's Corner. I'll see you then. Bye, guys.